Apex City. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Jordan. And today we're going to be talking about Jordan's character. He is playing the Legacy, uh, so tell us about your character. His name is William Infernus. Spooky. That's the idea. Uh, he is a 17-year-old kid, a quintessential white rich boy. He's part of the Infernus family, who publicly run a banking firm. Uh, very successful, mostly have a very good face for their company. But rumor says that they are pretty seedy, running a lot of underground... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not good crime syndicate type stuff. <laughs> not good. Not good. I like it. Not Unsavory. Good, not good crime syndicate kind of stuff. I like that. So, this is not necessarily a heroic legacy then. No, not at all. Okay. Uh, he is very much part, trying to break away from his legacy rather than uh, carrying it on. Uh, and does William have a hero name? or? Uh, he does not. He, doesn't, so he just goes by William and Furness Crime Fighter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it. Um, so let's talk about what kind of... Uh, what, is, what does William look like? He dresses in suits most of the time, Okay. as he was uh, taught by his family. As far as general appearance, um, black hair... Regular 17-year-old, little lanky. Uh, um, so just kind of traditional, clean-cut, uh, rich kid, basically. Yes, very much Okay, so. and uh, with what abilities does William crime, uh, fight crime? William and all of his family have the ability to summon demons. Oh, uh, that sure, yes. Whenever he does that, uh, his eyes become giant flames, uh, which are probably very intimidating looking. The demons spawn out of the air. Uh, seemingly out of nowhere. They are ghostly looking. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see through them. Very traditional demons. Uh, horns, spiky spikes, tails, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. Wings, Wings. obviously. Sure. Yeah. He summons these and controls them, and they do his bidding, uh, assuming that he keeps good enough mental control over them and doesn't lose it, at which point the demons would just run rampant. As such, he only generally wants to summon one demon at a time. Sure. He can also summon these demons over the top of himself and mm -hmm. basically wear them as a suit of armor and use their abilities essentially for himself. I like it. I like it. He can he can summon the demon or he can kind of become the demon himself. Yes. I, I like that. Um, so let's talk about your, your backstory. When was William kind of inducted into the legacy? He has been training to control these demons for about five years or so. But he... While not overly familiar with the syndicate nature of the family, he is very much aware that it exists. Mm -hmm. So he was pretty much born into this. Okay. Uh, it's not something that the family hides from their own members. Okay, that was actually going to be kind of my next question, is that he's he's trained for it for a few years, but he's known about it for like his entire life. Though. Yes. Okay. Uh, and what kind of accomplishments has your legacy sort of uh, achieved over the years? Uh, extreme success. Um, they... As far as the demon summoning nature of things, mm. that is very much not publicly known. But they've gone from, in the past hundred years that they've been in Apex City, they've gone from a simple, uh, essentially magic troop to being one of the most successful crime syndicates in the city. So they've accomplished a lot, I would say. <laughs> So, so their larger accomplishments are not so much publicly known, but they're, no, they're more like they've advanced from a, a very humble origin. Yes. And um, so how does the public kind of perceive your legacy? You mentioned that they ran sort of a banking group. Yes. Publicly, the Infernus Corporation is pretty well known. They're very much part of the foundations of the city. Um, the name Infernus has a lot of power. They, their main, they, they run a banking firm, but they also have lots of charities, uh, subcorporations, basically any like big business that you can imagine there. Sure, sure. Like like lots of little front facing kind of shell corporations. Yep, very much so. Perfect. So for every uh, charity that they start though, or every big event where they do something that's good for the public, mm -hmm. there are always rumors of something a little seedier going on, but nothing that ever sticks. Nothing that ever kind of like sees the light there. Yes. Okay. Um, and so how does that tie into your uh, Williams reasons for being a hero? William is very much rebelling against his family. He okay. has an older brother whose name is Eric, and that brother has been groomed his entire life for taking over the family mm -hmm. as the first born son. William has been groomed 
to follow and not actually lead. And he is unhappy with that turn of events. Okay. So being a hero is, for him is less about actually saving people and more about doing something that his family would not approve of. So, so at the start of the game, William's goals are more about um, kind of showing his family that he's a better person than Eric or about just making his family annoyed with him. Yes, I okay. would say so. Um, so let's let's move on and talk about your legacy moves. Uh, so what did you pick? Uh, I picked uh, Words of the Past, which says, when you seek the guidance of one of your elders or a member of your legacy, tell them a problem you face and ask them a question about that problem. So I think uh, that William's uh, William's grandfather is generally slightly more supportive of this than the rest of his family, mm-hmm. who are very not supportive of what he's currently doing, since it possibly directly hinders their goals. Okay. His grandfather, who has never uh, liked Eric that much either, is more supportive of William's choices, and so whenever I use that ability, I will probably be going to him for advice and or support. I also picked Symbol of Authority. Uh, When you give an NPC an order based on authority, they recognize role plus savior. Generally speaking, that authority will probably be my family. So okay. me. Kind of leaning into the uh, the, uh, the legacy's clout to make exactly act in a way it's that very, you would like them to. Uh, the family is very much built into the foundation to the city at this point. So in the name Infernus bears a lot of weight, yeah. so even, one way or another. Yeah, even if people don't like you, they know you. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. Um, speaking of your legacy, that's something that's going to come up um, during play, obviously. Whenever time passes, you'll be rolling to see how you've been doing in their eyes, and that can kind of mess with you. Just not good. Uh, so you, you picked a couple of them, uh, and let's talk a little bit about the uh, choices you made there. So the different members of the legacy which I haven't named a lot of them, but uh, the main antagonist, I suppose, for William is very much his older brother, Eric, Mm -hmm. um, who will be the next member of the uh, next member, next person to take on the legacy of the Infernus family. There's a lot of uh, animosity there Mm -hmm. between William and Eric. Eric very much seeing himself as the one that matters. Um, so Eric is kind of taking this over in a self-serving manner. He wants to be the head of the family because he believes he deserves it. Exactly. He's okay. been born into it, and he knows it, and he can't fathom the idea of not receiving that someday. And, and certainly his little brother going out there and making himself a big shot hero is not in the script. Exactly. Okay. He has been raised under the belief that William is meant to be his second-in-command, and... Not in a uh, uh, not in a good bro sort of way, <laughs> but in very much a inferior yeah, sort like of way. My way or the highway, I tell you what to do. Exactly. Okay, I like that. And the other one, um, the the greatest opponent that your legacy ever faced, still at large. Uh, well, naturally, uh, being a crime crime syndicate in Apex City. The Infernal Troop has come in contact with the Crimson Curse many a time. Mm-hmm. And are very much at odds with each other. No, I like that. Um, just to recap, the Crimson Curse is a vampire crime lord uh, who is very much an urban legend. At large, the city kind of doesn't believe the curse exists. I'm assuming that you guys really do. Uh, we're pretty clear that it does exist. <laughs> okay, I am looking forward to that. Um, so I think with that, that pretty much wraps up. Oh, right, where did you put your uh, extra label? Uh, I put that towards Superior. Okay, because William kind of thinks he's a little better. Despite the fact that he uh, hates his brother for that exact same thing, Mm -hmm. he is still very much a spoiled rich kid. I like it. I like it. I am looking forward to that. Thank you for sitting down with us, Mm -hmm. and uh, we will see you guys next time. Sounds good.